Hi and welcome to a new Baramundi on Air video. My name is Nick and today we want to show you which opportunities you have for PXE boot in your environment. Basically, you have two opportunities for the PXE boot in your environment. The first one is with an active PXE server in your network where the client sends some PXE broadcast which the PXE server answers with the boot file. So if you have many VLANs in your network, you need to make sure that the PXE broadcast reaches the PXE server. So for example, you need to set up IP helpers on your switches or install a PXE relay in each VLAN. The second way is via DHCP options. For that, the client already gets via the DHCP option 66 and 67 the information about the TFTP server and the boot file. For the configuration in Baromundi, we switch into the BMC. In the BMC, we navigate to configuration, server, settings, PXE support. If you're using the way via the PXE broadcasts, you can set the PXE server active and use the Microsoft Windows PE loader and PXE boot menu. If you are want to make the PXE boot via DHCP options, we don't need a PXE server in the network and also it's necessary to configure the Baromundi UEFI bootloader and the Baromundi SysLinux bootloader. So we will check out now the way with DHCP options. So we apply the settings and need to restart the Baromundi server. For the further steps, we need the DHCP server to configure the DHCP options. In the DHCP server, we need first to configure the vendor classes. So we can make a right click and say define vendor classes. We add a new vendor class. In our case, we create the vendor class, for example, for UEFI x64 arch7. So in the first step, we need to set a display name. And we need to type in the ASCII code of the vendor class. For that, we have an article in our knowledge base. Here you can find the ASCII codes for the different vendor classes. So in our case, we are creating the vendor class for UEFI x64 arch7. So we need to type in this ASCII code in our vendor class in the DHCP server. We click on OK and have successfully created the vendor class. In your environment, you can set up the different vendor classes with the knowledge base article. After we created the vendor class, we need to create a new policy. In the first step, give the policy a name. Click on Next. And here we can configure the conditions for this policy. So we click on Add and select the vendor class which we created before. Here you need to set the checkbox Append Wildcard and click on Add. OK, Next. In the next step, we need to configure the options 66 and 67. The option 66 is the name of your server because it's also the TFTP server. Option 67 you can also find in the knowledge base article. So we can click on next and finish. So now we have checked out the different options for the PXE boot in your environment and configured the Baromundi server and the DHCP server for working with DHCP options. If you have any further questions, you can contact us in the support. Thank you for watching and see you next time.